In this video, we present the supplementary material for the paper Differentiable Physics Simulation of Dynamics Augmented Neural Objects. We start off by presenting the reel-to-simulation pipeline for simulating the motion of neural objects. A neural object model, such as a nerve, is trained from still images, and object trajectories are extracted from videos of the object in motion. Object mass and friction properties are computed and candidate surface points and normals are sampled to produce a dynamics augmented neural object. The dynamics augmented neural object is simulated in a differentiable physics simulator, interacting with planes, robots, and other rigid objects. The resulting simulation can be used for real-to-simulation transfer or to synthesize robot behaviors, as we will see later. The dynamics augmented neural object is obtained from a neural object model of the Stanford Bunny. We sample points, white dots, from the neural density field. For each sample point, we compute the density field gradient, blue arrows, to obtain an approximate atwell normal. It will be used to compute contact forces in our simulator. We estimate the mass, center of mass, shown with a black dot, and inertia matrix by integrating over the neural density field. The yellow arrow represents the contact force due to the collision between the neural object and the plane. This force is applied at the centroid of the overlap volume, shown with a red dot. This overlap volume is exaggerated for visualization. Once augmented with dynamics properties such as mass and friction coefficients, we can simulate the physical behavior of a neural object. Here, we throw the Stanford bunny onto the ground to illustrate contact between a dynamics augmented neural object and a plane. In this animation, the neural object is represented by a level set of its density field. This second simulation scenario features contact between a sphere and a neural object. Finally, the third scenario demonstrates contact between two dynamics augmented neural objects. Now we describe how we can build a dynamics augmented neural object from raw sensor data. In the first step, we train an object-centric nerve from real pictures of a soap bar. Then, from a real video of the object, we extract the ground truth trajectory through minimization of a mask-based loss. Provided with the density field and the ground truth trajectory, we estimate the coefficient of friction of the soap bar by minimizing a trajectory prediction loss. Finally, with this dynamics augmented neural object, we could generate new videos starting from a different initial condition. In this experiment, we learned the mass, inertia scaling, and sliding friction coefficient of the bunny through interactive perception. We use a spherical end effector to push a neural object. This interaction facilitates identification of dynamics parameters such as mass. This experiment is done in simulation. We generate a dataset of trajectories where the robotic arm and the neural object are interacting. Then we identify the dynamics parameters of the bunny by minimizing a trajectory prediction loss. Leveraging the differentiability of the simulator, we use gradient-based optimization. At the beginning of the optimization process, the learned model slides too much. However, after a few iterations, the model accuracy improves significantly. After 20 iterations, we have almost perfectly recovered the ground truth parameters used to generate the dataset. For the last application, we solve a push and slide task using trajectory optimization. The objective is to push the Stanford bunny using a fully actuated spherical end effector. The goal positions of the end effector and the bunny are shown with white and black circular targets respectively. Leveraging the simulator's differentiability, we optimize with a gradient-based solver a highly dynamic trajectory where the bunny slides to reach its target position. We show the progress of the solver after one iteration 20 iterations, 20 iterations, and 40 iterations. 